Ayo, back at it again with another video. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. So, the XFL and I think the USFL has decided to merge into the United Football League. And I actually, actually I'm pretty excited about this. Yep, we got XFL, USFL, and uh, they were, The Rock announced it on Fox NFL Sunday and New Year's Eve. So XFL and USFL will survive as separate conferences and that the league is looking at expansion shortly. So I feel like they got a great um, eight teams. Personally, I would have merged and gotten 10 teams in place, but that's just me. Maybe the finances just weren't working for whatever reason but we got Birmingham Stallions we got the Houston Roughnecks Memphis Showboats Michigan Panthers Arlington Renegades DC Defenders a huge Defenders fan I was out in DC but I unfortunately didn't, wasn't able to get tickets you'll see it San Antonio Brahmas which is a cool logo and the St. Louis Battlehawks which it, this, if you turn the Battlehawks logo upside down, uh, you'll see that the right wing is an S, the sword is a T, and the left wing is an L. Or, yeah, S T L. I think is the, if I understand that correctly. Okay, so we got three down in Texas. I think that's great. Memphis Showboats. Um, Birmingham Stallions, St. Louis Battlehawks. You're pretty much in a Big 12 kind of, like if you're thinking of like college, most of your teams are in kind of like a Big 12 kind of style. You got a couple teams out here, DC Defenders, Michigan Panthers. I honestly think you stick originally for expansion down here in the south, southeast. I feel like you're already kind of in Big 12 territory. I feel like you could definitely expand into, like, SEC territory. I don't know. I think you have a lot of room to grow. Kind of. I think you've mostly just focused down here, and then you can focus up here and then maybe out west. Because right now, more or less, there's not a whole lot of travel amongst these teams. Uh, these ones are kind of out and about by themselves. But I feel like you mostly start right down here for expansion. Maybe up into the Midwest a little bit, but mostly stick to the Southeast. So I love the Battlehawks. I think that's a great loyal fan base in St. Louis. Um, Louisville would be a great one. I think, you know, Louisville is a pretty, would be a good market to, to go to. Uh, maybe New Orleans. I think like a, a Jackson, Tennessee, not Tennessee, but uh, Jackson, Mississippi would be kind of cool. Um, my Google Maps is being weird, but yeah, I think a Mississippi team would be kind of cool. I think Atlanta, I think uh, Charlotte, Oklahoma City. Uh, I think a West Virginia team would be sick. I think that would be amazing. But Indianapolis, great spot. Cincinnati, great spot. Milwaukee. If you want to go into Chicago, always a great spot. Pittsburgh loves football, loves Steelers football. I think a South Carolina team would be cool too. Um... Virginia, Virginia Beach, um, team in Iowa, Minnesota. I think you're mostly trying to stick down here. So, recommendation, Indianapolis, great spot. Cincy, I love one in West Virginia, that'd be cool. Uh, Atlanta, Charlotte, I think... I think you gotta go to South Carolina. You gotta go into Florida too. You know, maybe a Tallahassee team, Jacksonville. I feel like spring football would just explode and flourish down right, right down in here. 
and then you can move up into the northeast and not west. OKC would be great. Kansas would be great. Nebraska. I feel like you just stick right, right down in here. So I love this. I was on the uh, XFL bandwagon for a long time, and I'm still going to continue to ride it because I love it. You know, playing the Michigan Panthers playing at Ford Field, playing at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. You know, the Dome in St. Louis. But yeah, you got so much room to grow down here. Um, yeah, I think they're. I think the UFL is going to be amazing. So, yeah, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm really excited. So, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but we first have to see how it all plays out. But definitely, those are some great spots for expansion. So, with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.